Hi, this is Rebecca Zung, divorce attorney here with you again today. And welcome to Family Law Secrets Friday. Every day I give you little tips and tricks and secrets from my, my 20 years as a top divorce attorney. And uh, today is no different. So today I'm going to be talking about um, what financials that you will need in your divorce. So one of the things people always ask me in a new client meeting is, what do you need to pull together for your divorce? What financials are you going to need? And the answer is one that's often the same in, in divorce, or at least from lawyers, and that is that it kind of depends. But there is some uniformity. So, But the reason why it depends is because it depends on whether there's a business valuation that's going to be needed. It depends on whether or not um, child support or spousal support is an issue. It depends on whether one party is seeking attorney's fees or not. But there are a few documents that are pretty standard in most every divorce, and those are the ones that in most every jurisdiction um, a court's gonna be looking for, unless the case is completely uncontested. And by uncontested, I mean really uncontested. I mean like super simple, no kids, no assets, no debts to divide, no support of any kind, other than that, then, um, you know, if you have that scenario, great, good for you. Uh, but if you don't, um, then here are the basics that you're going to want to pull together. So you're going to need tax returns and W-2s, probably at least three years worth. And by the way, for tax returns, you will need both business and personal. Uh, bank statements, usually something like three months of checking uh, account statements, 12 months of savings account statements plus the most recent retirement account statements the most recent quarterly statement um pay stubs you'll probably need a few months worth credit card statements probably several months worth deeds uh, you'll want to have evidence of title so um you know title to your car deeds to your homes that sort of thing um, you will also need to show evidence of what kind of debt you've got. So mortgage statements, auto uh, loan statements, student loan statements, things like that. You will want to produce any prenuptial agreements that were signed uh, or postnuptial agreements. And you will also likely have to fill out a financial affidavit of some sort where you're swearing to what your income is, your expenses are, your, um, assets and your liabilities. So the bottom line is that you and your, and your soon to be ex spouse or the judge, if it comes to that, will need to know, you'll need to have a snapshot of what's actually going on. And in order to do that, you've gotta be able to produce the documents that show that. How are you gonna know what's fair if you don't even know what you're looking at, right? So once you're educated, then you can get ready to have a conversation about a final resolution of the case. So as you probably know by now, I offer tips, tips, tricks, and secrets to divorcing in my private divorce virtual master classes and my other programs and materials. Uh, to get educated, it takes a whole heck of a lot less to get educated and be on top of the process uh, than um, just flying into this thing blindly It'll also go much faster and it'll be much cheaper for you. So for more information on that, please head to my website, www.breakingfreefromdivorce.com, where I provide information and materials for you and, and helping you to get the winning, winning settlement that you want to get. And for a limited time, I'm also offering my best-selling divorce book for free, uh, it's called a step by breaking free a step by step divorce guide to achieving emotional, physical, and spiritual freedom. Uh, you just pay, cover a small shipping and handling fee, and we pay for the book. So relief delivered right to your mailbox. How about that? So if you enjoyed this piece today, please remember to head on over to my YouTube channel. I'm Rebecca Zung. You can find me on YouTube there, and go ahead and subscribe. I where I provide tips, tricks, and secrets every single day of the week. And um, in the meantime, have a great weekend. That's it for me today for Family Law Secrets Friday. I'll be back on Monday 
for Monday Divorce Motivation. Please make sure to join me on Monday where I'll be talking about when to know if you should leave your spouse. That's another question that I often get. Until then, remember, you are just one step away from your new life. Together, we've got this.